I'm always telling you that this is the most confusing week of the quarter, a week where we get flooded with so many earnings reports and conference calls that it's impossible to keep track of everything in real time. Just aren't enough hours in a day. I, have to, I pay someone to sleep for me during this period, and that causes the market to make mistakes or do things that don't make sense to me. Take waste management, the number one garbage disposal company in North America, 21 million customers in the U.S. and Canada, 249 landfills, over 100 materials recovery facilities. I like to keep track of the company because it gives you a healthy read on the, on the coal economy. Very few people know more than David Steiner, the CEO. But this was a confusing day for waste management. The company reported a seemingly strong quarter this morning. It delivered a three-cent earnings beat off a 71-cent basis, higher than expected revenue, up 3.3% year-over-year, positive volume growth, including commercial garbage volumes turning positive for the first time in over a decade. On top of that, waste management raised its full-year earnings and cash flow guidance. Yet after the opening, the stock quickly sold off, closing down a buck twenty-one or just under two percent. How is that possible? I think a huge part of it has to do with the fact that waste management run going into the quarter up twenty-four percent year-to-date, and giving us a twenty percent gain since we spoke to the CEO in February. Major move for a steady eddy company, one with a yield down to 2.4%. So should we view today's weakness as a buying opportunity in a high-quality stock? The market noticed something that's missing, maybe that I didn't see. we got to find out. Let's take a closer look with David Steiner, the president and CEO of Waste Management. Hear more about the quarter and where's company's head. Mr. Steiner, welcome back to Made Money. Hi, Jim. Thanks for having me. Always good to be here. All right, David, i got to tell you, I was stunned. I thought this was by far the best quarter in a decade. Uh, you did all the things I wanted, including uh, landfill is finally what I've been looking for. Some really good volumes, great industrial volumes. You're doing so well that you said we're buying a lot more trucks. Market didn't care for it. Is this just a case where you think, because you've been very right about your own stock when we have you on, where it's just been a huge run and some people are saying, hey, you thought it was good and it was good. Yeah, you know, Jim, the, the market has its vagaries and you know it better than I do. Um, you know, we don't manage this business for one-day stock moves. We manage it for the long term. So if we keep producing quarters like we produce today, the stock will definitely take care of itself. All right. Now, I'm trying to find the holes. Uh, you lost some recycling contracts. Uh, isn't that the kind of volume you want to lose? Absolutely. You know, the recycling contracts that we've lost were actually losing contracts. They were a, a negative margin contracts. So what we've done in the recycling business is tried to de-risk it. In the past, the, the model was that we would sell the commodities and split the proceeds with our customers. And if the commodity price went down, the split that our customer got was so much, it didn't cover our processing costs. And so we've changed the model to where we cover our processing costs and a little bit of profit first, then we split with the, with the customer. So that's taken the risk out of recycling. So, you know, the times uh, last year where we had recycling as a headwind, we won't have that anymore. Recycling can only be a tailwind. If we can see those commodity prices come back up, it'll be even a better tailwind. And so... Uh, I am with you, Jim. I, I really look at this quarter, and there's not a single hole in this quarter. And we just keep uh, we we just intend to keep doing the same thing quarter in, quarter out. All right, second one. I thought maybe people would thought this in the conference call. Turning to cash flow in the second quarter, cash provided by operating activities was 748 million, compared to 816 million in the second quarter of 2015. Is that some sort of anomaly? Yeah, total anomaly. Um, we had $75 million of taxes that we paid in this quarter, so $75 million more than we paid in cash taxes uh, from last year. And then we had a little bit of movement in working capital. So that works itself out uh, during, the, during the course of the year. So what, uh, what we said is that our cash is actually going to be above our prior guidance, the low end of our prior guidance, by 100 to $200 million. So Hard to see that as a hole in the uh, in the quarter. Well, I like later on in the call when you actually address that issue and you for very forthcoming and saying that if this continues, it's very likely in this kind of situation that there be a dividend boost, even though you already have a large dividend. Yes, absolutely. You know, Jim, that uh, what we're all about is making sure that we use the cash to the to create the best value for our shareholders. Now, we would love for that to be um, acquisitions. The last three years, we've done some fairly decent sized acquisitions, sort of. 50 to $75 million of EBITDA. We don't really see one of those on the horizon, so I would expect that the cash will be uh, deployed uh, like we've done over the last 15 years, which is a strong dividend and, and share repurchases. Uh, I once told you I went to a landfill across the street from basically the Statue of Liberty uh, in New York City with my buddy Michael Hale, who uses you, and I said that it was uh, a, seemed like that's the best business, but you said it wasn't that good right then. 6.5% volume increase. I mean, this is, landfill's where you can make a fortune, right? Well, yeah, and the incremental margin of the landfill can be as high as 80%, a huge fixed cost basis. But 
um, not a very high variable cost basis. So when you start putting tons into those landfills, you can drop a huge incremental margin to the bottom line. You're right, 6.5% uh, increase this quarter. It's been pretty steady you know, in that sort of 6 to 8% um, um, increase every quarter. We expect that to continue. In fact, we expect it to continue and even get a little bit stronger over the coming quarters. You had a, a moment where I was so glad. I wish everyone would read your quarters where you just said you hear people who, you know, basically, you, you know, people are worried about the economy, but you've got a great panoply of business. You're not seeing anything in, uh, that would be remotely like, well, I'm going to use your term, an industrial recession. Yeah, you know, Jim, I like to say that it, it just seems like it's our time. You know, I've been uh, CEO of the company now for, for about 12, 13 years, been with the company about 16 years. And there really was one other time that I remember like this, and that was sort of the period from 2006 to 2008, which was a great period for us, driven by housing starts. We've seen very strong single-family housing starts, but they're nowhere near where they were at peak. And so uh, we think there's still a lot of room to run for volumes. We think we've got, if we can just see the economy at that slow growth 2 to 3% rate, we think we've got three to five years of really good volume growth coming up. Now, uh, again, I think our viewers, I always love to, uh, for people to know what the great metric is. Housing starts and waste management equate to what kind of volumes that make it so it's so lucrative? Yeah, you know, when you think about it, when they tear the house down next to me, they put a can out in front of it and they build a new house. But you haven't created a new residential customer because it's the same house. You haven't uh, created other new businesses. But when you start having big housing developments being built and, and condos down in Miami being built, now you've got a, a residential customer. You've got those cans that are out in front while they build the house. But even more importantly, you've got those new businesses that are coming in around those neighborhoods, the new gas stations, the new restaurants, the new grocery stores. And that, for us, is our highest margin business. It's a business that is, is a really a recurring revenue stream. When you think about our business, that commercial customer um, is, is uh, you generally about a seven to eight year customer of, re of, of just that revenue stream pouring in. So it is a great business for us. Uh, about 60% of our new business is coming from new business starts. So we see real strength in new housing starts. We see real strength in new business starts. But again, they're nowhere near where they were in the peak from that 2006 to 2008 period. So I think we still have a long way to run. We've got, I couldn't uh, we've agree got with a few you good more. years ahead of us. I could not agree with you more. It's David Steiner, President CEO of Waste Management, has never steered us wrong in the many years he's been on the show and isn't doing it wrong now. This stock's a buy. Mad Money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.